live in South Florida and we had negative low tides this week, so I headed out to the sandbar to see what I could find. As soon as I got off the paddleboard, I noticed the sea star that had been trying to drag itself back to the water. I scooped it up and gave it some help since it had a very long ways to go. He was pretty dried out. I hope he makes it. Nearby, I found this gaudy nautica moon snail shell, which was occupied by a little hermit crab. And have you ever stumbled upon one of these? It might look like trash, but it's actually the shell casing for the moon snails. The tide was still going out, and this Florida fighting conch was in a spot that was drying out pretty quickly, so I moved him over towards the edge, and there were actually a bunch of conchs in this spot. This little guy was just admiring his reflection in a puddle. A flock of terns were on the prowl. Hopefully, they don't eat any of my friends. And here's some waste from a tube worm that's burrowed into the sand. You never know what's lurking down there. Oh, another stranded sea star. Let's make sure the birds don't get you. There are a bunch of sea star species that live out here, and this one is called a two-spine sea star. I quickly took it over to the water, and then I just had to dunk my phone to check on it. I was so happy to see it start scooting along. The terns were mad, though. They kept giving me a side eye for stealing their snacks. Here's a tiny baby conch. Look at its little eyeball. It's all tucked into its shell. No need to be shy, little guy. I'm not going to eat you. And here's a bigger Florida fighting conch. It's going a bit cross-eyed, isn't it? So I'm sure you're wondering, why are they called Florida fighting conchs? Well, that's a great question, and I'm about to show you. During breeding, male conchs will fight each other by swinging their bodies around, exactly like this one is doing now. And he is really launching himself. Look at that. I put him over in the water and continued my walk over to the deeper part of the sandbar. Boats are always wrecking in this spot. I feel like there's a new one every week. This telling shell is so pretty. Look how bright purple it is. And it's still attached, too. It kind of looks like a butterfly. I wonder if the birds ate this one. It was such a nice day exploring. I'll see you next time I'm out at the sandbar.